All right, just going to do a video refuting the Calvinistic twisting of the word predestination in Romans chapter 8, verse 29 to 30. Calvinists like to use Romans chapter 8, verse 29 to 30 to teach the Reformed rendition of predestination. This is also used to deny free will in the context of salvation. Hyper Calvinists believe that God chooses who gets saved and the believer has no free will in the matter. Now, is this what the scriptures teach? Well, this is one of the passages they like to use, and I'm going to refute it and show how they're twisting it. Romans chapter 8, verse 29 to 30. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. Okay, now they, they home in on the word predestination, say, look, predestinate, you know, but what is this actually saying? Notice that verse 29 talks about being conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. Okay, this passage is not saying that God predestinates who gets saved. In context, this is talking about the rapture of sealed born again believers. Compare this with Ephesians chapter 4, verse 30. Okay, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 30. See, another thing that, that uh, Calvinists won't do is they won't compare a scripture to scripture. They're, they're kings at ripping scripture out of context and isolating passages and not comparing spiritual with spiritual like it talks about in 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 2, verse 13. Ephesians 4.30, And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed until the day of redemption. Okay, what's my point? You're sealed with, the, with God's Holy Spirit at salvation. And being sealed with the Holy Ghost and being called up at the rapture are often synonymous. In the scriptures, Paul often links them together. The pre basically, the predestination talked about in Romans chapter 8, verse 29 to 30 is referring to the fact that sealed born-again believers, people who are already saved, by the way, because Paul, remember, Paul is writing this to save people, are predestined to be raptured from this corrupt body of flesh and be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. See, notice that how it talks about being conformed to the image of his son. That's what, that's what the predestination is talking about. Why do I say that? Well, compare this with Romans chapter 8, chapter 8, verse 11, and Romans chapter 8, verse 23 to 25. It's not talking about salvation. It's talking about already sealed, already saved, sealed, born again believers being called up at the rapture, being conformed to the image of his son. Romans chapter 8, verse 11. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ, raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. In Romans chapter 8, verse 23 to 25. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our bodies. Ephesians 4.30, sealed until the day of redemption. Okay, verse 24, for we, for, for, sorry, for we are saved by hope, but hope that is not hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? But if, it, but if we hope for that we see not, then we do with patience wait for it. Okay, what is it? It's talking about the rapture, the redemption of your bodies. So comparing a scripture with scripture, we see that the predestination talked about there is already saved born again believers who are sealed with the Holy Spirit, being redeemed, having their corrupt bodies of flesh redeemed at the rapture. Okay, or, or properly called the resurrection of the dead or the catching up. It's not talking about salvation. It's not talking about God predetermining who gets saved and who 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 doesn't who who goes to hell. That's not at all what it's saying. Uh, Calvinists like to twist that, that text and twist it and pervert it to teach their Calvinistic twisting and rendition of uh, what the word predestination means. So don't be deceived. Calvinists love to twist scripture and rip scripture out of context because Calvinism is, you know, it's not just a false doctrine. It's also of the devil too. It's nothing more than Satan's attempt to hinder the spreading of the gospel. And if you want to see the fruits of Calvinism, look no further than the Westboro Baptist Church. They are the fruit of Calvinism for you. So don't be deceived by Calvinism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.